because uh, the more time he spends on this side of the map, not really doing too much, not really finding any ganks, um, the more his level progression is going to suffer. I mean, sure, he's keeping Nofi here, which makes it harder for Axe to put pressure on top and things, but... Ooh, bottom. He's also starting to fall behind bottom lane. Okay, they find DKFO, but he doesn't actually have the cogs. Used them already. But he's taking he up with the blue shields. Yeah. He almost killed a Loha Dance. Oh, FNG oh, roaming in. Yeah. Oh, Loha Dance is so, so low. He might actually be caught by this. DKFO was with Crash. another. Oh, there it is. There you go. Some... Tries to go for a TP out, but first blood being spilled again. Alright. Afterlife. I don't know, with, with, with Bignum taking over the jungle, it's actually going to be harder for him to catch up and get a quicker blink dagger. But now, meanwhile, mid Iceberg pops the Sage Rune, one raise, two raise, everybody raise, raise. Let's see, kills. Once again, you just see him as Cobalt 4, man. Did we have that last game? Was it with, uh, we cast with Mr. V? Yeah, maybe. I don't, we casted, uh... Oh, oh feed, feed script, they find someone that's an easy setup for, because uh, <laughs> if I've seen one. It's only a Rubik, but hey, you take what you can get, especially since it still should set up for the bottom lane. Yoku's not out of the woods yet either. He's <laughs> straight in the middle of it, finds a juke path, but Nightmare into stun into a lot of right clicks. Eclipse is not going to save you here. So this is a much more valuable kill. Now Nofia TPing in just a little bit too late. Hit track up by FNG. Looks like they want to try and find him too. And Cobalt forward trying to, trying to block, block. <laughs> but yeah, the sprints <laughs> gives you face movement speeds and do get the crush off early grave here. Definitely necessary to delay this a little bit. He might yet survive, especially with the slow crush from the lower dance. Vensko is definitely looking for range time and he gets it on the on long range. Get yet another kill with more TPs in. Afterlife also make an appearance now with the call oh, well, after the crush setup. Follow up pressure from Slara still staying alive a little bit, so forcing a lower dance to zap him to death. So ultimately, they're being punished, finally. Friends on the board might find a second one with Vanscore here. Out of mana, but he does get barely enough of the six charges for Nightmare to keep Yoku away. This should be it, especially with DK Phobos. Throwing down a Cox again. Oh, hasted Invis Shadow Oh god, no. No, oh he's looking for big no. Oh, this could be... If he's farming up this, the extra cam, we'll keep... yeah, he can just set up. This is... Oh, oh. we saw it coming, they didn't. Souls really helped him dominate mid, and he has a level advantage over a Meepo, which is something you don't say too often. Yep. They're gonna go here, find a blink crush onto Luna, Iceberg is there as well. Another rage into the tricky, and they find it. By FNG, and uh, he gets called by Afterlife, Nightmare, plus the Fiend's Group turns around, next to Crush, and the ultimate to just blow him out of the house. A lower dance, one, two, punch. Make it a trick. So. This could be rough. You need to get the blink call I mean, on him. And then you need to unload everything you have before I can pop the BKB, else you just don't kill him. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of afterlife and a lot of meep on to immediately follow up, but now this is not helping. <laughs> nope. Laha dance tanks. The this now they're cook. on a hunt, FMG starting. Might see no fear here, you'll stop. Follow up with a crush. He's going for the easy one for now. Afterlife sitting in the trees. He only got the amplifier on top of him, so he can probably blink out in a second. Unless he can cancel it with the rocket flare. There it is. That sets up beautifully for Iceberg. Oh, wow. He's got another double kill. On the other side of the map. It's about to expire in a minute, but the fight's not there. If Team Spirit is spending all the time on the Radiant side, then it doesn't actually give you a whole lot of information that you need. And now, oh my god, they find some of the Meepos. Bignum with a big mistake, he doesn't even have buyback! And this will be the final nail on the coffin, I think. They're gonna be able to claim uh, its last range racks, think... possibly the top racks as well. Do you think Iceberg is telling his team that he needs to farm the 10 extra souls now that he's picked up the eggs, or is he just <laughs> content to end the game? Uh, I think he'll be able to farm that in a second, he wants the Creeper spawn, but yeah, he doesn't even get the chance, friends realize it. GG is called a bit of an. A bit anticlimactic, an iceberg, eh? I think that was his first time.